Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your, fa your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, as Latino, and Native American. One of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halakia. Coming back once again through the... Uh, uh, your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp. Coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And then some have a uh, post <clears throat> one of the brothers sent to the group chat. It says what? The skyrocketing price of fertilizer has caused a worldwide nightmare that is going to impact every man, woman, and child on the face of the planet. And this is the spirit, man, because I just did a video early, earlier on famine gripping the earth. All these things are taking place in the earth because the Most High is preparing this place to, to unleash great calamities in this place. And famine is one of them, man. But as as we continue to move forward in prophecy, you have people out here who just don't get it. They just don't get or understand <laughs> that the Most High is about to punish the world. Man, woman, and child, man. And a lot of people are going to are going, are, is going to die of starvation. People thinking that just because they can go into the store right now and get a steak or whatever they want, it's going to always be that way. No, man. The Most High, is he, he's putting the pieces in place for a, a lack of food. You see? A lack of food is coming. He's going to stop the trucks. He's going to stop anything from being grown. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to do this through Esau Edom, man. You see? And this is what we've been saying is coming. And and all the signs show us that that's what this is all leading up to. You see? So let's go right here. Because I brought some of these scriptures out earlier, but hey, it's coming out again because what? <laughs> this is what the Most High is bringing, man. We can only, we can only preach and prophesy what's written. So here it is. Second Edges 15 and 5, it says what? Behold the... Behold, say of the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You see, famine is a major, a major uh, judgment that's going to uh, do a lot of people in, man. You see, people just wasting away, not eating in days or weeks. The most I is gonna have your body eat eat yourself from from in, from the inside out, man. And why is he doing this? For wicked for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurt for work and their hurt for works are fulfilled. This is why the most I is bringing these calamities upon the earth. This is why the most I has a a fertilizer shortage, man. This is why the most I has gas prices going through the roof to the point to where diesel. It's gonna to be too expensive to put it to put to put into these trucks to even move anywhere. This is why the most I has the supply chain breaking down. This is why the most I has the these uh these uh what do you call them uh cargo ships still out there in the uh, Pacific Ocean, just sitting there, man. No goods are coming in. Yeah, how about Shimi Hawasha is doing this all by design. This is his will. Why? Because great punishments are about to be unleashed, man. Beyond anything the world has ever seen before, man. People, a man, woman, and child are going to be out here starving to death. You see? It's going to be crazy out here, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is really about to open up or uh, unleash these spirits of vengeance. And one of those spirits of vengeance is what? Right here. 
Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 39 verse 28 it says what? There be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine. Fire, hell and famine. Expect to see more fires taking place. Just random wildfires out of nowhere. Expect, that, expect to see more of those. More a giant, a giant hail falling from heaven. Expect to see more of that. And famine, man. A complete lack of food. A complete lack of supplies. A complete lack of water. A complete lack uh, of resources. This is what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is about to bring into the earth on a major level, man. It says what? Well, and death. <clears throat> All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. You see that this is all going to be uh, befall who? The wicked. Beginning with two-thirds of our people. Those who are, those of uh, those of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who refuse to repent to come at to serve the one true living power. Those of, you, uh, those of you who refuse to repent and believe upon his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. Those of you who refuse to repent and believe that and believe in the truth that you are the, the uh, that you are the Israelites. All of you who refuse to return, you are going to be caught up in these calamities that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to unleash upon this earth, man. And it's and, it, and it's, it's approaching quickly, man. You see, verse thirty one says, "What well, they shall rejoice in His commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time is come." They shall not transgress his word. So these, when the Most High unleashes these death angels, these spirits of vengeance, they're going to do the Most High's will to perfection. You see? They're going to do the Most High's will to perfection, man, to the point to where a lot of people are just going to be out here just dropping dead from, from, from starvation. You're going to have people out here starving. They're going to be eating their, children's, eating their uh, children, eating their dogs, eating their fucking pet lizards, pet birds, whatever you got, pet cats. Pet turtles if you got it. Goldfish. Hell, they're going to be eating each other. This is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is preparing to unleash in the earth. You see? Second edge is 16. Second Ezra 16 and 17 says what? Woe is me, woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine. Famine, once again, and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall, be, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. These things are being sent out as punishments to correct your behavior, Israelites. But the thing is, even though the Most High is about to bring all these calamities upon you, you're still not going to repent and turn back to the Lord. And it says what right here in verse 20? Uh, verse twenty. But for all these things, they shall not turn away from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Even though all this hell is about to break loose, you're still going to have two-thirds out here walking in the spirit of rebellion. You see? But it's gonna it's gonna be to their own destruction, because if you don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is an Israelite, ain't no help coming for you, man. Ain't no miracles gonna be worked on your behalf. See, the Most High is only gonna help those that truly believe and serve Him, man. Verse twenty uh, twenty one says, "What? Behold, victory shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case." As you people are thinking right now, well, I can go get a. A combo from Wingstop. I can go to Buffalo Wild Wings on Tuesday. You get buy one, get one free. Whatever they, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. You think you're in good case because you have just access of, uh, unlimited access of food right now, man. And it's cheap. You think yourself, you think, you people think yourselves to be in good case. Oh, man, ain't none of that shit y'all talking about gonna happen, man. Shut the fuck up, man. All this food in America. But guess what? That's why Yahweh Shah said that day is going to come as a thief in the night. It's going to come out of nowhere on your ass. You see? One day you're going to walk in the fucking store and bread is going to be $150 a bag, man. You see? A loaf of bread, $150. A 
a steak three hundred and seventy five dollars. A T bone one T bone steak three hundred and seventy five dollars. A box of cereal eighty dollars. Milk nine hundred dollars. Water fifteen hundred dollars for a gallon of water. These are the times that are coming, man. So it says what? Second Edger 16 and 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Eat, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And these fucking coons are having a party right now. Having a good ass time right now. Living it up. But that joy is going to be turned into sorrow when these times we're coming into, man. You see? Like Yahweh Shah says, it's going to be what? Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Verse 21 says what? For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. Second Edges 16 and 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. Second Edges 16 and 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. America is what? A first world country. And people are going to be dropping dead here in this land from famine, man. Starvation. Dying of hunger. And if you escape the famine, what does it say? And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. Because the Most High is not fucking around, man. He's about to unleash judgment in the planet Earth that we can't even understand right now, man. We can't even comprehend how, how great this judgment is going to be when it's finally poured out. You see? But for all the believers, man, this is not something we have to worry about. All these things are going to be done unto the wicked as we just read in Sirach chapter uh, 39. Because it tells us, Job 5, that what? What was it, Job 20? Job 5 and 19. Yup. Job 5 and 19 says, Well, he shall deliver, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. And famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. So all these calamities that uh, calamities that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to unleash in the earth, these are things that we don't have to worry about, man. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. And this is why we're what? Serving the Lord. Being obedient unto his will. Us men who, who he's bestowed this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to, we'll push him forth the word in all truth and sincerity, week in and week out, as we have been commanded to do. To what? Feed the sheep. We're having no other gods before uh, before Yahweh. And we're loving each other as, uh, as ourselves, man, as best as we possibly can. You see, being obedient to the Most High's will. And because we do that, He's going to redeem us in famine. He's going to feed us when everybody else is starving, man. When everybody out here is, is returned to that animalistic state of nature, man. Out here eating each other or whatever they're going to be doing. The Most High is going to save us from that. When that destruction comes, you see, that fire raining from the skies in the form of 200 million thermonuclear warheads, the Most High is going to keep us protected from all of that, man. Because we serve him. Verse 22 says what? At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. And why? Because we have been serving Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. And he's going to have a mighty spirit upon us in these times we're entering into. To laugh at all this death and destruction that's going to be taking place. You see? Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. You see? Because what? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah is going to pour his spirit upon us and we're going to be protected. 
Isaiah 65 says the same thing, man. And this is the spirit. We were just going into this at camp yesterday, man. And like I said, this is my second video today going in on famine because this is what's coming. This is what's coming, man. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. It says what? Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You hear that? Those who have been serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we're going to be fed, we're going to be watered, we're going to rejoice. You see, because the Most High has blessed us with the ability to fear him and walk in his way. By following his son, Yahweh Shah, in all faith. You see, we, we're going to be rejoicing. We're going to be taken care of. We're going to be happy, man. Because we're seeking for the most high, for the most high's will to be done. That's why we say the All Father prayer, man. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We're looking for this system to go down, man. We're looking for Esau to be snatched off the throne. And for Yahweh Shah to come and establish that righteous kingdom. Uh, that the kingdom will endure of righteousness. So we're not like the disobedient of our people, man, who are looking for this place to continue on. Who have no hope outside of Babylon the Great. You see? They've completely sided with the enemy, man. And since they've done that, the Most High is going to destroy you, man. He's going to demolish two-thirds, man. Verse 14 says, Well, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but he shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And that's what's coming. That's what's coming, man. The servants of the Most High, hey, the Most High going to be taking us all through all type of tribulations and troubles. But he's going to save us out of it as it tells you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah delivered them out of them all. And we're going to be rejoicing and we're going to have joy, man, because, hey, we're going to know that the Lord is with us. Hey, we know it now. We just pray that we stay in the right spirit and, allow, and, and, and he be with us all the way through this thing, man. Because we're going to need it. Verse 15 says what? And he shall leave your name. My dad, that's it. Matter of fact, you'll get 15 as well. And he shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. You see? He's going to slay two thirds. And he's going to what? Protect his remnant, man. As it is written. Oh, go to the wrong book. And I'll wrap it up on this, man, because I just said, like I just said, I just did a video on this earlier, but the brother sent that to the group chat, and I'm like, do another one. Do another one. Yup. Second Edges chapter 2, verse 26, it says what? As for the servants whom I, whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary. For when the days of trouble and heaviness cometh, which they are fastly approaching, others shall weep and be sorrowful. And that's what's going to happen to two-thirds of our people. They're going to be in a state of sorrow. They're going to be in a state of weeping. They're going to be in a state of agony and a state of uh, despair, which is a complete loss of hope, man. You see? But it says what? But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Who is the most I'm talking to? His servants. We're going to be merry and that day and have abundance, meaning what? We're going to be taken care of. Abundance of food, abundance of water, abundance of shelter, abundance of raiment, whatever it may be. We're going to have an abundance of it hey, while everybody else is catching complete hell. Verse 28 says what? The heathen shall envy thee. That includes two-thirds of our people. But they shall be able to do nothing against thee. Saith the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Why? Because we're going to have a, a spiritual force field around us, man. And the Most High is going to be taking care of us as he's always done. 20, uh, 29 says what? My hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. Meaning what? Hey, we're going to be taken care of once again. Brothers with children, you ain't got to worry about your children not eating, man. You see? You ain't got to worry about your children dying of hunger. Especially if you're serving the Lord. Because that's what the scriptures say. Most I say you're going to cover us that so that our children shall not see hell. Hey, and I wrap it up on this one. This is King David. We'll wrap it up on this. Because these judgments and punishments are not for those who are serving the Lord, man, in all truth and sincerity. These punishments are for those who are walking in the spirit of disobedience.
Psalm 37. I got to miss over 34. This is uh, Psalms 37 and 30, uh, 25. This is King David speaking. It says what? I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken. Who are the righteous? The righteous are those who believe in Yahweh Shah. Through the gift of faith that the Most High has blessed us with. Those are the righteous. Nor his seed begging bread. There it is. So these things that the, that, that the Most High is about to pour upon the planet Earth is not for us to be destroyed by us. It's for us to be made, to make, be made better by going through it and enduring through, with faith in Yahweh Shah, man. Because the Most High is going to feed us just like he did in the wilderness, man. You see? It's a light thing for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah to feed us. But for everybody else outside of those, outside of the true believers, you don't stand a fucking chance, man. Point blank, period. And it's coming. This is gonna turn this this is gonna cause great famine to grip the earth, man. And Lord willing, this this shortage becomes even worse. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let I came out there. Pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalak Rayom, Shalak Mashapayim, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Shalom.